Now let's get the latest on the coronavirus itself and also some issues that Chinese factories are having now that they're beginning to be up and running. Anjali Kamlani joining us for the latest on that. Anjali? Thanks, Lexus. Yeah, so we know that the numbers are, uh, we passed half a million yesterday, which was a new uh, unfortunate milestone in this outbreak globally. Uh, the death count is now close to 25,000 worldwide. We know that Italy is in fact leading that number and it has far surpassed the numbers that China had first reported, more than 8,200 deaths in Italy alone. Uh, meanwhile, the U.S. surged past China yesterday in terms of total case count, now nearing 86. Thousand, And we know that that number is only set to grow as we see more testing done around the country. New York City itself is about a quarter of that number with 23,000 cases reported. Uh, we do know that, as you mentioned, in China, what is happening is a, sort of a tug of war, if you will. Uh, initially, we were concerned about the incoming uh, you know, products and supplies from China when they were hit with the virus. Now it's a reversal where because because everything else in the world has shut down, Chinese factories are in fact up and running, but they are not seeing that demand. That demand has dried up and they're getting calls for orders to uh, be on halt, canceling, et cetera. So this speaks to you know what a lot of health experts have been talking about, which is if you don't wait out the virus, you might have this sort of impacting in the US as well, where we would see the sort of ebb and flow uh, of business and of interactions. So it's really important to uh, remember that and to, uh, you know, see how this all plays out uh, as we hear more and more discussions about possibly opening up pockets of uh, the country or whether or not uh, a national lockdown will, in fact, take place. Alexis. And Anjali, on the healthcare front, we know that um, ventilators are badly needed. Necessity is the mother of, of invention time and time again. We're now seeing that uh, billionaire James Dyson of the Dyson Company has found a way to make these ventilators in a more rapid way. What do we know about that? That's correct. They have found a way to uh, come up with faster prototypes. Uh, but uh, when pressed on the timeline, they have, in fact, followed the uh, same sort of response that we've seen from other manufacturers, which is these are complicated devices, and it is unlikely that they're going to be able to get uh, a product out very quickly uh, in terms of, you know, to the market. But for right now, we do know that they do, in, in fact, have a prototype. We've also heard, you know, from uh, 3M and GM and uh Ford as well, just a bunch of these companies coming together, Tesla as well, talking about being able to retrofit uh, certain parts for other uh, products and try to make these ventilators. So that's what we're seeing coming out of the UK as well. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how quickly they can come to market because we do know that hospitals and health systems are in a crunch right now. And so if they cannot produce those in time, it's not going to really help um, in the long run uh, unless you're talking about seeing a further their spread. So as of right now, it's great to hear this news, but it doesn't actually help frontline workers today. All right. Anjali Kemlani, thank you for the latest there. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.